Let's solve this assignment together. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to our storyboard and we're going to go ahead and add a text field and we're also going to add a button. I'm going to also center up this label a little bit and let's add a button here as well. So what's going to happen here? Let's go ahead and enlarge this text field and let's go ahead and add some placeholder text as well. So we can call this um, update information and we're going to go ahead and say update. We'll call our button update here. And let's go ahead and hook everything up here. So we're going to go ahead and press the assistant editor or even better we can go hold down the alt key and press on cc detail view controller.h and let's hook up our text field. So holding down the control key we're going to drag to our header file here and this is going to be an outlet and we can call this text field and we're going to also create an IB action for our button here. So we're going to go ahead and create action and we can say update button pressed. So what we need to do next is we need to create our protocol for our detail view controller. So let's go back to single view and we're going to go to cc detail view controller.h and the reason we need a protocol here is when we press the update button, we want to do a callback and update the information for the view controller's text field. So let's go ahead and we're going to do at import, we can write at protocol and let's give this a name. So we're going to call the CC detail view controller delegate. And let's go ahead and start defining the methods here. So we're only going to have one method and it's not going to return anything. So we're going to say void. We're going to say did update text. However, it is going to have one parameter. It's going to be of type and a string. And we're going to say that it's the name of the parameter is just text. So great. Let's go ahead and add our property next for our delegate here. So we're going to say weak non-atomic. And remember that our delegates are of type ID and that we make them weak because we don't want that retain cycle to occur. So we'll learn more about that later, but it's useful for all our delegate properties. Let's always set them equal to weak. All of the other properties we've learned about so far, assuming they're for objects, we've been able to set them to strong. So we're going to say our delegate's going to conform to the CC detail view controller protocol. And we can write delegate at the end here. And now we have this property delegate. So we're going to go into CC detail view controller.m and we're going to update the update button press method. So the first thing we want to do is we want to update our label if uh, we add some information to our text field and we press the update button press. So let's go ahead and say self dot label is equal to dot text is equal to self dot text field dot text. We're also going to want to call our, our delegate and do a callback to the CC view controller file. So we're going to say self.delegate and we're going to say did update text and let's update it to our text fields text property. So great. Now we need to go ahead and we need to have our CC view controller conform to this protocol. So we need to go to our header file. We're going to add angle brackets. And we need to import this first. So we can import and we're going to say cc detail view controller.h and we're going to conform to the protocol we defined in cc detail view controller.h. So we're going to conform to the cc detail view controller delegate. And in our .m file, we can implement the method. So we're going to say void did update text and actually let's actually move this down below did receive memory warning so I'm going to add a pragma mark here just for organization purposes and we're going to say cc detail view controller delegate and we can paste this method in and let's add some curly braces and what we're going to do here is we're going to update our text field in our CC view controller to be the text property that we get here. So we're going to say self.textField.text is equal to my text property. So great. One other thing we need to do though, and we've already set this up in our prepare for segue method, is we need to set our delegate property. So we're going to be able to say detail 
bc.delegate is equal to self. So let's go ahead and run this application. And we'll be able to update our information that we enter into our text field. So let's go ahead and enter some information here. So we'll say, hello. We can go to our new page. Now let's update the information. So we'll say, goodbye. And we press our back button, we notice that now our text field has the goodbye information here. So we've managed to properly pass that information from our detailed view controller to our current view controller, the CC view controller. 